Hi there, this is Ed Herzog with edherzog.com and today I want to show you the brand new design system in Elementor. The design system allows you to set global fonts and global colors and will allow you to greatly speed up the time to build a website. And not just build a website, but also to make changes on a website. And this feature is available in both Elementor Free as well as on Elementor Pro. So I'm going to switch over and take you through a demonstration of what you can do with the new design system in Elementor. So here I am on a demo website that I use to do these sort of videos. And I have just an Elementor template loaded into the page here. First thing I want to do is I want to show you how to access the new design system. It's very easy to do. All you have to do is come here to this hamburger menu, click on that, and then click on site settings. And there you have the design system with global colors and global fonts. You can also find the theme style here. This was released earlier on Elementor and then some more general settings. But we're going to focus in this video on the, on the design system and how to use it. So I'm going to click there on global colors. Now I've already set some of this up. So I have a primary color, a secondary color, a text color, and an, and an accent color. Now these are all required by Elementor. So if you hover over this, it says system color can't be deleted. You can, of course, change a color. There's no problem with that. You can come here and, of course, move that around. You can add a hex code down here, however you want to do it. But uh, these here, you cannot delete. But you can add your own color. So let's say I wanted to have a particular color for the background of a button. So I come here and I put background, actually, sorry, button background color. And come here. And let's go with that green right there. And now I have this color set as a color for background uh, for the background of a button. Now these here that I add myself, I can in fact delete. It says right there, delete global color, but we'll leave that there for now. And I can keep adding colors. I don't know if there's, as far as I know, there's no limit to the number of different colors that I can add to this. So, uh, you know, I can keep adding different colors for different elements on my website. So go ahead and update that. And then come out here, go to global fonts. And this is going to be pretty much the same. Again, I have these four system fonts, primary headline, secondary headline, body text, and accent text. And again, these can't be deleted, but I can add my own styles and those of course can be deleted. And I can also set a fallback font family right there. With these here, you're going to have access to the full range of typography, typography options on Elementor. So I can pick a font family, font size, weight, transform, style, decoration, line height, and line space. And of course, for some of these, I can also make particular settings for tablet as well as mobile. So, uh, you know, I can set up these fonts however I want, and then I have these to use within my website. Now, what's going to happen then with these is any element on my website that I tie to one of these global colors or global fonts, if I come in here and change it, it's going to change that particular widget anywhere on my website, not just on this page, but anywhere on my website. Okay, so I have a lot of this blue here. I added that in a lot of different places. So let's just come over here and say I decide, you know what, I actually want this to be green. Come over here and I don't know, we'll go with that green there. And you can see that all those elements updated. They're all now green. It's very easy to use. Makes building a website, changing an update, uh, changing a website, updating a website very easy, very quick, very fast, which is, you know, again, something Elementor has always been great about is making website building very easy. So, you know, with this new system, it makes it even easier. Again, this will not update, this will update not only on this particular page, but anywhere on my website where I've connected an element to a global color, which I'll show you in a minute how to do that. But for now, I just want to show you how to change things once you already have things connected since we're right here in the site settings. So now I have that green. Here I was using this red. Uh, I did forget to change that one. I still have a blue there, but uh, let's come here because I did not, that blue is not connected to this global system color. That's why you don't see it over here. I forgot to connect that. But that's fine. I'll show you later uh, how to connect things. So you can come over here and, you know, let's just say I want a slightly different red. I can drag it over there and now I have a different color red. 
and all these change at the same time. I don't have to go through here and change each one of those individually. You know, in the past, I'd have to go in, copy style, paste style, uh, something like that, and maybe do it every single place on my website. But now I just do it one time and everything updates. It makes it very easy. So let's come here and update that. And then come over here. And we can take a look at fonts. Uh, I think the font I use the most of is the accent font on this particular page. So I've got source sans size 18. Let's pick something really crazy so it stands out. Uh, what is it? Yeah, that looks really crazy. <laughs> I have no idea what that is. Uh, you see that right there, those all updated. Uh, where else might I have that? Right here, I was using the accent font. So those all updated. Obviously, I wouldn't really want to use that. Uh, but here you see in these places here, it all updated as well. So very easy. One, you know, one selection and everything updates on my website. So I don't have to go through and individually change every single thing. So, you know, I think you do need to do some planning ahead of time again, because you can add your own global fonts or add your own global uh, colors. You know, you want to do some planning ahead of time in terms of what you want to add, what labels you want to give them. But once you do, it becomes very easy to change things. And so, again, you know, if I have a particular color, like I, you know, I set up a particular color for my buttons, you know, I can use that color on all my buttons. And then when I want to, you know, if at some point I decide, no, I don't like that color after all, I can change that very easily. Now, the one thing I will say that, you know, I don't know, maybe, maybe this is just the way it has to be, is you can't actually edit anything on your site while you're within these site settings. So I can't edit anything here. Right? I need to close out of this in order to edit things. So how do you set up the design system? Well, there are a couple ways. One, which I'll show you next, is to tie it to individual widgets. But you can also tie it to the theme style. So you have here typography, buttons, uh, images, and form fields. Now, images don't work because they don't have colors, uh, global, they don't have colors or fonts. But the other ones do. So you, I can come in here and set up particular styles. I can click here. So we, we have this new thing. It looks kind of like a globe. And I click on that and I can give it one of these colors that I've picked, right? So it'd be for my body text. Same thing with typography. I can pick a particular pick primary, secondary, body text or accent text. Okay, uh, let's see what else. You know, same thing for the links, for my links on my website. I can set, tie these because it's got that globe there. I can tie these to my global colors or my global fonts. Same thing with H H1, H2, H3, etc. So I can tie all of these to my global colors. And then when I bring something on my website, it will already have those settings. I don't have to go through and change the element individually. It should already have those settings. Uh, you know, this is very nice, particularly for buttons, because we've got buttons here. So I can come here and say, OK, for my buttons, I want the typography to be the body text. I want the text color to be the main text color and then the background color to be this primary color. It's probably not going to be a very nice looking button, but again, I'm just playing around with this to show you. So what that's going to do is, uh, you know, every time I pull put a button on my website, it should have these settings on it. So it should have this, this color background and that text color and the typography that I picked right up there. Let me go ahead and update this. And I can do the same thing with form fields, right? Because they have colors, typography. So I can, again, I can tie all of these to primary colors, secondary colors, text, accent, whatever I want to, right? Again, I probably want to set up a particular, uh, particular color, particular uh, font, and give it a label that might be, you know, form field color, form field text, etc. Because I can add my own, I can do that. And then when I put a form on my website, it will already have the settings that I want it to have. Okay. Um, now the other thing real quick to show is right here, if I click here, manage global colors, I can click on that and it takes me there and I can change these right here. So I can go from that from the uh, from these theme styles to the to the global colors just with one click. So you know if I'm looking at this, and I say uh, you know 
uh, maybe these aren't the fonts I want after all. Maybe I want to use a different font. Maybe I want to create a new font. I can just click here and it'll take me right to the global fonts. And I could, you know, add another style that I use for that for the form field, which is what I was in at that particular point. The other thing to notice real quick, which is kind of nice, particularly with the typography, is it's showing you what the text is, looks like. Okay, so remember I picked that really crazy font, which we're seeing right up here. Well, you see it right here as well. So it tells you what font that is. So when you're connecting these, you know, you know, do I really want my form fields to have this crazy font? Probably not. So I'm probably, of course, I wouldn't want a period, but, uh, you know, this way it shows you visually what it is that you're putting into your form fields. Okay, so that is one way to use these new to use the new design systems by connecting them to the theme styles. But you can also do it individually on elements within the page. So let me click out of here. So now I'm back into the main Elementor editor. So let me just show you. So here again, with the individual widgets, I now have as you see with text color and typography, I have these kind of globes here, right? And it shows you what you have. This one is a custom one. This one says primary headline. So that is what I, you know, right here, it's going to pick up what I designated as the font choice, as a typography choice for my primary headline. Well, what if I don't want it to be my primary? What if I want it to be something else? Well, I have these options here. So I can make it that one, the secondary one. I could make it the body text. I can make it accent text. So I can click through these and make them what I want. I can make it, again, I can pick one of these here. Doesn't look very nice. Again, I'm not going for aesthetics. I'm just going, you know, I'm just showing you how to use this. But if I want to disconnect it, again, right now, you know, I think white looks better here and I don't have white chosen as a, chosen as a color here. So all I have to do is come here and go to my color picker, drag that up there, and now it's disconnected. It's back to being a custom. It's no longer connected to the global color. It's no longer connected to the, des to the design system. This here is, it's got this blue here. This here you can see has a gray. It says custom, that says primary headline, okay? And again, you can actually go from here as well, click there and go to, go to global fonts. And wait for that to load up. And from there, you can again, edit your global fonts right here instead, you know, it's a, it's a one click to get back into the design system settings. Let's close back out of that. Close out. And again, I can do this with any any element here. So I can, you know, again, this here has this green that I chose. Come up here and, oops, try that again. There we go. So again, right now it's body text. If I want it to be accent text, one click and now it's accent text. I can make it primary text, way too big, but again, I'm just showing you what you can do with this. Here I can come and make it a different color. So if I want it to be that color instead, just like that. So again, you know, I connect it here, right? I connect it right here, it's connected to the secondary. So it's going to have this secondary, you know, what's designated as a secondary color, or I'm sorry, the secondary, uh, yeah, secondary color that is now connected to the global fonts or global colors. So when I go back into the design system, this will change anytime I change the global colors. I hope what I'm saying makes sense. If anything I'm saying doesn't make sense, please let me know. I'm always willing to help out best I can and answer questions. But uh, I think this system is really nice and it's very, in my opinion, very easy to use. And it connects things very easily within your website. And so for here, you know, again, these here, this here I forgot to connect. So let's see how we can go ahead and connect that color there to the design system. So I'll come here, go to style, that's a hover color. 
And so we'll make this the secondary color, so it contrasts with the other one. And now it's that. Now what I can do is I can just, instead of doing each of these individually, just paste style, paste style, and paste style, and they should all now have the green right there. Very easy to use. And again, if I want to, if I don't want that green, if I don't want this red, I go back into the uh, design system, into the global colors, and change them. Very easy to use. I mean, you know, I've, I've mentioned this on other videos of mine. I've been using Elementor pretty much since it came out. I fell in love with it from the beginning, and I just love how they continue to come out with new features, new innovations that make my life easier. And I only have one website. I imagine if you're a website professional who designs websites for other people, you're in love with this because this just makes things so much easier. And, you know, as far as I know, Elementor is the only page builder that has a feature like this. Of course, everybody else is now going to copy it like they always do with Elementor, but Elementor is the, is the page builder that's always ahead of the curve, always doing things that others haven't thought of and everybody else is always catching up to Elementor. So one more thing that I wanted to show you, if you remember when we were back in the design system, I connected a theme style to the, to the design system. I connected some theme styles for a button to the design system. So I wanna bring a button, a new button onto this website, and it should have those settings that I put for my buttons. So let me just come here, and I'm just gonna put this anywhere, it doesn't really matter. Not a great place for a button, but we'll put it right there. And there it is. If you remember, we picked that red with a black font right there. And so there it is. It worked. So again, you can go into the uh, site settings where the design system and the theme styles are and connect those two together. So when you bring new items on your website, they're already going to have these settings. So you don't have to necessarily go through and do that individually every time you add a new item to your website. You can already you can pre-connect them by connecting the design system and the theme styles together. Again, a great way to really speed up the building of your website. So again, that is what I want to show you in terms of the design system and how it works. As I said earlier, if you have any questions, please let me know and I will do my best to help you out. Um, I will put my affiliate link for Elementor in the description below. Although this is not a pro feature, if you do decide to update to Elementor Pro, I always appreciate when people buy via my affiliate link. Finally, subscribe to my channel and make sure to hit that notifica notification bell. I'm going to be doing a lot more videos of Elementor in the coming uh, weeks, coming months. Uh, I'm going to aim for one to two the rest of the one to two a week for the rest of the year. So uh, I'm going to be giving you a lot of information on, on Elementor. So that's it. I hope you have a great day, and I hope to see you on the next video. Bye.